Okay, a lot of people said they want to know about vocabulary for kitchens. So today we're going to look at my kitchen. If we start over here. This thing is called the sink. This part of the sink is called the faucet. This part of the sink is called the drain. If you are washing your dishes, you can use a sponge and dish soap. If you're washing your hands, you can use hand soap. Hand soap, dish soap, sponge, faucet, drain, sink. Okay, if we go over here, this thing is called a dish rack. This is rack, dish rack, because it's the rack where you put your dishes. If you buy clothes in a store, usually the clothes are hanging from a rack. So where you hang something or put something, it's usually called a rack. So this is a dish rack. On my dish rack, I have this. This is called a cutting board. Here I have one, two plates. One plate, two plates. Here I have a bowl. A bowl is for soup or something like that. So if I have one bowl and one, two plates, I have three dishes. Three dishes. Over here I have some utensils. This one is called a rice paddle. A paddle is what you use to control your boat when you are in water, in a canoe or a kayak. But this one is for your rice. It's called a rice paddle. Here I have two spatulas. This one is called a wooden spatula because it's made from wood. This one is a silicone spatula. Then I've got some knives. If you have one, we say knife with an F sound. But if you have two or three, we say knives, knives. This is a steak knife. This small one is called a paring knife. This bigger one is called a chef's knife. So I have one chef's knife, one steak knife, one paring knife, three knives. Okay, so I've got those here. This is called a strainer, strainer. This is a coffee drip. This is a mug. A mug is the thing that you use to drink something hot, usually coffee, and it has this. This is called a handle. A mug is a ceramic drinking vessel that has a handle. This is a mug. This is a glass. This is a shot glass, usually used to drink alcohol. If you fill the glass and then you drink it quickly, we say to take a shot. Do you want to take a shot? Cheers. Take a shot. Okay, so that's the stuff that's in my dish rack right here. Um, it just got a little bit wet because this stuff is not 100% dry yet. But this is called a stove. My stove is an electric stove and it has one, two burners. This is the front burner. This is the back burner. This is a lid. A lid is the top for something. So this is the lid for a pot. And this is a pot. 
this lid is not for this pot. You can see that the lid is too big or the pot is too small. They do not fit. This is a pan. So a pan is good for frying something. A pot is good for boiling something. So pan, pot, lid. And really long sausage. So this is um, some type of Thai or Vietnamese style sausage. Yeah. This is a pitcher of water. You can call it a pitcher or you can call it a jug. Up to you. This is a pestle and this is a mortar. Usually you have them together so we just say pestle and mortar. Ginger, lemon, lemons are yellow, limes are green. This is an onion or this is half of an onion. This is a red onion. So actually, yellow onion, red onion. This is garlic. And here we have instant noodles. Instant means you can make it very, very, very fast. Here I have one, two, three, four eggs. The eggs are on top of this thing. This is called a basket. Let's see what's inside the basket. So inside the basket we have dried chili peppers and more garlic. Okay, then we have these two machines. These machines, because we use them in our homes, we can say machines or we can call them appliances. So these are one, two kitchen appliances. This one is called a toaster. A toaster is the machine that you use to take bread and you put the bread in the machine and when you take the bread out of the machine, you have something called toast. Toast is bread that has been toasted in a toaster. So the toaster toasts bread or the toaster makes toast. This machine cooks rice, so it is called a rice cooker. Okay, rice cooker, toaster, basket, mortar, pestle, garlic, red onion, yellow onion, ginger, lemon, eggs, pitcher, jug, lid, pot, pan, really long sausage, stove, front burner, back burner. Um, I'm not going to do that for everything. That's a lot of stuff. But if we go up here, one, two, cabinets. These are called cabinets. We're going to open the cabinet. You can see I have some food and stuff inside. And then close the cabinet softly. Um, over here, I have one shelf with an F sound. One, two, three, shelves with a v, v, v sound. One shelf, three shelves. Okay, so um, cabinets, shelves, and if we go down here, we have a drawer. I'm going to pull open the drawer. Inside my drawer, I have silverware utensils, and I have chopsticks. I have a lot of chopsticks. I have wooden chopsticks, plastic chopsticks, and metal chopsticks. Utensils, silverware. If you have silverware that is plastic, it's a little bit weird, but we actually call it plastic silverware or plastic cutlery. And um, I already have a whole video that is just about kitchen utensils. So if you want to know the names for all of these things, I recommend watching that video also. I will try to post that in the comments below this video. Now I'm going to close the drawer. 
Okay, drawer, cabinets, shelves, and microwave, or you can call it a microwave oven. And this thing right here, this is my refrigerator. You can say refrigerator, or you can say fridge. The top part that makes ice, this is called a freezer. So the freezer is this section of the refrigerator. Okay, so this is the stuff that I have in my kitchen. It might be a little bit different from your kitchen, but this is what I have in my home.